Hey, Rays fans. Um, I expect this to be a fairly... Um, what the hell is that? I don't know. You can't see it anyway. Uh, a fairly short video. So I have been working these, um, these Reaver Scout things as they came in, and I'm currently... Uh, researching R3 on the MCX, and I still have 67,000 points, and we're going to hit some reavers tomorrow. For where I'm at, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is uh, noon my time, so lunchtime, which is nice because I basically log on during lunch, hit some stuff, repair till either I get home or the next morning, and then... Um, hit again, do pretty good. I locked out and I picked up um, three of the uh, notorious cutthroats. That was I was psyched about that. So we'll, we'll burn, we will burn one of those. And uh, if I'm in a friendly area, I'm actually have been able to get um, five, ten, fifteen thousand points off of one notorious cutthroat. Because what I'll do is I'll send out, I will, basically what I'll do is I'll clear out the little ships with these guys. Then I will clear out the medium ship with this one. And then what I'll do is I will send this one in there just to sit in the ship, in the fleet. Just to send it to the corner and then go do another one. So clear them out, do the medium ship, and then I'll bring in... The, um, the DNX, which still has one left over. Um, so I can do two reavers in very fast succession. And then I go find the third one, and then I do the small ships, the medium ship, and then send the DNX to. So I could do three reavers in a friendly area off of uh, one uh, notorious cutthroat, which is actually kind of cool. And then if you keep it and want to do the three coins, then you can um, do it again. So you'll end up with you know thirty thousand off of a th off thirty thousand reputation off of three coins. That's not too bad. Um, I actually don't need to do this right now. I can actually just dismiss this because I have three more of them. So there's really no point in even spending the three coins. So that we would we will we will do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm finishing this. this is the fourth Barracuda. I'm refitting my old Barracudas that I won ages, ages and ages and ages ago. My first raid ship was Barracudas. So this is it. And uh, I'm refitting them. So we're going to see how this does. Combat Speed 35. That should be interesting. That's a pretty fast fleet. Uh, no batteries though, so it doesn't stay down very long. So I don't know. We're going to try it. They might turn into the uh, the one health point sort of barracudas. Um, they're sort of you know they're gonna die as soon as they surface, but they can they can throw down a, a nice little volley first. You know I don't know. We will see. But that's my fourth one. I I've been working those guys, so I already have um, these other ones done. They didn't take too long to do. They just take a ton. A ton of resources. Those uh, assault torpedo bees. Those are expensive little boogers. Because this is 45 million. That's just like these four, I think. Is so. I don't know. They're crazy. They're crazy. So we got a raid coming up this week. So there's really two new things in the entire raid. There's uh, the brimstone missile and the uh, vindicator. A uh, vindicator is a tier four, tier four. Um, so we don't know anything about it yet. We know it's ballistic, protect against radioactive damage. Yeah, okay, whatever. But, yeah, right now, radioactive damage is not that important unless you're uh, hitting a base, and this is a ballistic ship. So I, I want to see how it compares against either SCX or battleship R5. Um, those are really the two I'm looking at because it, it looks like it's not going to be nowhere near as fast as um, as um, something else. Okay, now this is hilarious. Hold on a second. 
You want to see something funny? Maybe I'm looking at something different, but see this picture? Look right here. See that? This is this. When they took this picture, it um, it was 10 million. Now this is 12 and a half million. So anyway, I thought that was I thought that was funny. I just saw that. I didn't notice that before. So uh, I don't. Everything else is everything else. A rehash. Other stuff that you might have, you might not have. You can get two things per tier, which is kind of cool. Um, they got the the uh, the rising the rising uh, bonus, which is really good. So um, I don't remember what it was last time, but the uh, last the December raid, uh, you could you could pick up some pretty cool stuff. The December raid is really a ship raid, so it's not really that surprising that. Uh, out of everything in here, there are almost zero ships. The only two is the Re the Reaper and this new Vindicator. So everything else is like other stuff, which is fine because you know the December raid was like nothing but ships. So my my recommendation is there's a lot of stuff in here that's either um, in the weekly raids. Some of us not, but a lot of it is. Um, here's the thing. Pick up the stuff that you want. Of course, you know, do that first. Uh, I would I would recommend some um, Phalanx 2. That's a good one. Hailstorm B. That's a good one because you got to remember Phalanx 3 is bloody heavy. Hailstorm 3 is bloody heavy. Most people use the, the 2 and the B. Um, I'm, I, bl people don't use blitz drones. Uh, here's the thing: the halo is, well, let me put it this way: the brimstone is four times the number of points as the halo. So I'm hoping that the brimstone is going to be awesome. That's going to be my target. That's what I'm shooting for. I probably will not care about the vindicator hull. Uh, I don't know yet, but I'm probably not going to care. So I'm pretty much just shooting for the brimstone missile, and that's probably the, the only thing I really care about. Now what I will do is I will pick up stuff that I'm missing if I have the points. Uh, if I don't have the points, I won't bother with. Now here's the thing. Let's say let's let's take tier one for example. You know, tier one. There's you know you don't really care probably most about what's in tier one. Well, pick up something that you might remotely use. Actually, you know what? Hailstorm A. Pick that up. If you don't have that, pick that up. Um, I would avoid this one. I would avoid this one. Avoid this one. I would avoid all the vortexes. I would pick up the depth charge. Um, I might pick up that. Because there's some stuff you might use if you don't have a lot of weight left. You know, a hailstorm A is a good thing if you if you if you're running low on weight, you might switch out a B for an A. You know that I that's a very valid thing to do. So there's a couple things in tier one to pick up. The other option is in these is to um, if you don't care about it, find something in the weekly raid that you don't have. So, you, so if you pick it here, then it's no longer in your cycle of random crap. And you'll start getting stuff you do care about. Um, let's see, in the tier two, uh, Phalanx missile one. I don't really use a lot, but you know it's very light. It's pretty light, so you know you might be using two most of the time. But maybe, maybe you're running short on weight and you throw a one in there, or you know a couple ones in there, just to you know, deal with weight. Um, if you're gonna do the alloy armor, I would only do the level three stuff for real. Um, arc missile. If the arc missile is the base missile one, I would totally ignore that one. Uh, saw rockets, not so much. Let's see, they're not lumbering these, so I'm assuming this is the number three countermeasure. Um, cluster warheads. If you're a rocket guy, this one's a bit lighter than the three. Depends on what ship it goes on. Uh, now. If you don't have assault torpedoes, pick up an assault torpedo. 
Um, v gives you bonus speed. R is the longest. B, which is not on here, is a really a combination of R and V. It's B is the best one to have, but if you don't have any, I know somebody that doesn't have any assault torpedoes and kind of wants some, so yeah, pick up one of these. Um, depending on what it is, if you're on Spectres, I'd probably go with the R. If you're on anything else, I'd probably go with the V, just to pick up the speed. Uh, let's see what else is up here. Hailstorm B, I mentioned that. Uh, I would only w use the number three version of the strike systems and the speed systems, which is here. Um, no, actually, is it? No, it's down here. It's tier four. These, and, and this is the other thing that they're complaining about on the forums is these are actually quite a bit more expensive than the weekly raids. But if the weekly raids have eluded you for one of these, well, yeah, go ahead and pick it up. Get it out of the way. Knock it out. Knock that stuff out. Um, these are good. There's some good stuff in Tier 3. Actually, there's some good stuff in Tier 3. So th there's some decent stuff. Just, this is really a raid to pick up the missing stuff. Pick up the stuff that you don't have, that you kind of want. Um, I'm I am assuming that this might be kind of cool. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's basically a stronger Halo. If it's a stronger Halo, I'll get it. If it's if it's really a wash with a Halo and you just get like the burn that the um, the little thingy does, like the the meteor mortar one. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to be way more awesomer than the meteor mortar. That's that's what I'm hoping. So, uh, anything else going on? Not really. I finally almost have these get little boogers ranked up. The problem I'm finding with these two, because there's a problem with this M6 fleet, right? This ship has three. This ship has three. And they're both stars, so they fire, uh, not the first volley, but every other volley, they fire faster first. And these only have two, and these only have two. The problem is, is that uh, these two are killing the turrets and the ships before these two are able to land. So I'm actually having a hard time. I'm gonna have to take these two all by themselves and go kill stuff to uh, to finish ranking them up. Um, we got more. Uh, Splot, slots, slots and the thing. They fix some bugs, which are kind of cool. So uh, go check it out. Um, but that's about what's going on. I'm almost at 67. Woo woo! Uh, definitely the raid will kick me into 67 for sure. Uh, what I'm going to do after the MCX, which I will probably, I will have enough for this one. Um, but then it will take me a while to save up for this one. I do not foresee having this one real quick. <laughs> so what I will probably do is research the hurricane. Because I have the hurricane here. I don't have five SCX. I have four SCX and the hurricane. So having this one in here is my is my next plan. Um, this one and when I'm doing the reverse 70 uh, is pretty useful. I um this is yet to prove to be useful. The theory on that one was if I if I if I'm going to fight the like the medium sized ships, that I basically tank with a hurricane and I don't get um frozen as much and then the SCXs can keep moving. That's the theory, but I don't I have not for the seventies I have a system and, and that they don't they're not used for tanking purposes. Um I threw some assault mortars on there so that they could um, try to get some ranking. You know, they're not going to have the ballistics of this, so give them something. And they're actually doing pretty good. 77 XP, and they're going to get the first rank. So they occasionally will hit stuff. <laughs> it's it's not really the primary purpose of this fleet, but you know, you, you wanted to rank up a little bit here and there. You could tell the rest of them only have um, the first stripe so far. So.
So I think I'm ready for the I think I'm ready for the raid. The raid will be the raid will be interesting. The reavers are kind of cool in the fact that they're fast. You know, the nice thing about fast stuff is you get in, you, you kill it, you get it over with. Or you die, one of the two. But you're not traveling across the freaking screen all the bloody time. Um, you know, it's the, the fastest. I like the fastest. The fastest is an interesting thing. I finished another um, disruptor cannon. We'll, we'll see if it matters or not. Um, I don't know. I did kill one hell strike fleet. Didn't I? Here. Let's actually watch. No, no, no. I died. <laughs> no, no, no. That one. I thought I killed one fleet, though. That one I killed. Bear Naked Sea. Let's see if that one's any good. Let's see if we could tell what's on that fleet. I can't do that, can I? Oh, poop. Oh, I can't do it from here, can I? There's not a replay button on here. It'd be nice if there was a replay button on here. Right here. Replay. Tink, clink, clink. Oh, well. So, alright. I'm done rambling. Uh, there was really no point in this video. And that's probably what I'll label it. Uh, there's no point in this video. But, you know, maybe three of you might watch it. and um, just, to, just to see what's going on. I'm still in 283. And just sort of hanging out. Actually, this whole area. I moved here next to quarantine. Guy I know. And then everybody else moved around. So, these all know each other by some way or another. Um, I know him and her. Him. He just moved today. And I think when he moved those two came in or something like that and these two followed one of those two and then uh, one of these guys one of these two moved in and then all of these followed I don't know it's actually funny if you've been, if you be in a sector very long this sector actually has a lot of 70s there's like 73 74 I mean 71 74 and you scroll up here and there's some more 70s so when you when you're needing cargo 72 uh, 69, she's almost a 70. I thought she was a 70. Oh, there's a 70. Holy crap, a 77. Ooh. Um, a 70, another 70. So, there's some, there's some cargo around here if you ever need cargo. <laughs> there's no shortage of, um, and it's going to make a liar out of me. Oh, there's no shortage of 71 cargo. So, anyway, alright, I'm bored. I will talk to y'all later, and we'll title this one, There Was No Point in This Video. Bye-bye. <laughs>